Good morning. Welcome to the shop. Thanks for stopping by. The folks over at Longer sent me out their new Ray 5 40 watt laser engraver, and it's had, got some upgrades to it. So today I'm going to assemble it, show you some of the uh, couple of the upgrades, the two biggest ones that are really going to make it a lot stronger. So follow along, see how this thing works out. Okay, so here we've got the pieces all laid out. Same style of pieces that you see in all of the open frame type laser engravers. You got your frame, your gantry, your legs, control box, laser module, air pump, power brick, and tools, nuts and bolts. Well, one of the biggest things I see is this upgraded X-axis, our gantry, linear rails, four wheels instead of the typical three. This thing is beefy. With this, we ought to be able to crank some speeds out of this thing and we're gonna give it a shot, see how fast we can get it to roll. So, let me get this thing assembled. Now, it comes with four corner brackets and then four screws and the corner brackets will go in and then in to help stabilize everything. And then you just put a screw in from the outside of the frame and the corner brackets all have little set screws in them and you could snug the set screws down to make it nice and tight. It just slides in and then that'll help hold everything together. I'll make sure you're in straight and square. Put your screw in the opposite end or in the end and tighten them down. Flush on the front, tighten it down and then you take an Allen screw or another Allen wrench, smaller Allen wrench and then you just tighten up the corner brackets for extra support. And this will help take out any rock or twist the frame gets as the gantry is moving at its high speeds. And there we go. Now the next step technically is to put the gantry on, but I always put the two rear feet on first. That way as I move it, the gantry doesn't roll off the back while I'm working on the front of it. And the feet will just bolt in. There's two bolts and then this third screw on the end. This third screw is where you would tighten your belt. And then we will come back when we put the belts on and tighten those all down for the final time. And now we need to slide the gantry on. You want to make sure that the dovetail is facing the front. And then it will just slide on just like that. So now we could put the other foot on it and the control box. As you can tell I've done a few of these and they go together really quick and easy. Control box and wiring assembly. It's got one screw on it and then one screw on the other side for the belt. We'll 
snug them just a little bit. There we go. Now we've got to put the <coughs> limit switch on the rail. And on the left hand rail, there is a sticker. The back of the limit switch goes to the far end of the sticker. Wrong one. You just hold it in place. Tighten the screw down. And there you go. And then you have your Y-axis limit switch connector is right there. Just plug it in. And we're close to done already. That's how quick and easy these things go together. Next thing is going to be putting the belts on. The belts slide through the little hole here. Grab you one of the Allen wrenches. Kind of lift it up and out. And there's a pulley here in the center. The belt's got to go under here, up and over this one, and then back down and under this one on the opposite side. That can sometimes be a little bit of a feat. So you have to get so you can see the, the belt and get an Allen wrench or something down in there to kind of lift it up and out of the groove. I can't see the belt. There's the belt. Lift it up, put it over, and then just kind of roll the gantry back over the top of it until it slides through. And now we have the belt up and over the pulley and down and under. And it slides out the hole in the back bracket, and I try to center it so it's got the same amount on each end. Then you have a bolt in a washer that screws in here. And you can lock the front ends down now. The back end, put your screw and your washer in. A slight tension on the belt. Then tighten the screw down. You don't have to make it super tight because that'll just stretch the belt. But you want to put tension on both sides so they're equal. And then we will do the opposite side. And same procedure on it. Do the little slot down here. Lift the belt up.
under that pulley, over the tooth pulley, and down under the other wheel. and through. Again, send it so you got about the same amount on each end. You got it started. You just pull the belt a little bit, fold it back over, hold it in place, and then tighten the screw in. Now that is tight, the belt is in there tight. No odd movement. And we'll tighten the last of the screws on the feet. And there we have the basic frame assembly put together. Now we've got to put the laser module in. And look at the size of this thing. It's one of the reasons why it's been beefed up so much. This thing is just heavy. And this just slides down into the bracket and tightens down with the two little set screws. But now we can come along with our iron harness. that we've got, and it's labeled, Y-axis motor. And we've got the X-axis X-axis limit switch. We have the X-axis motor. And we have the laser module. And these are keyed, so they will only plug in one direction. Then I move everything off to one side. And then put my stuff in the harness. Now for the air pump, you slide the rubber tube down and on the laser head, there's a fitting you just push it into and it locks in place. So we want to make sure we have plenty of room for everything to work. So then those two can go into there. This one can go into here. And there you have it. It's put together. Quick, easy, nothing to it. It works beautiful. So in the next video, we're going to be working with the AI system in the Laser Burn app. See what kind of cool things we can design and put together. And then we're going to burn them with this and have some fun. So come back next time. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our Instagram and like and subscribe. Have a good day.